Right, in this video I want to show you how I make this manifold for my compressor on my Chinese mini lathe. And I've made it out of acetal. A friend of mine gave me a load of these blocks here, scrap blocks, so I thought well I'll make one out of acetal rather than aluminium. And this is how it turned out. So now I'll go out into the workshop and show you the various procedures and operations to make it. Right, so the first thing I'll do with this piece of acetal is load it up into a four-jaw independent chuck. And you can see here how versatile this chuck is. I've got the jaws around one way for the uh, long length and around the other way for the shorter length of hold. So, you know, you can actually use these jaws either way round and that's why it's such a versatile chuck. So I'll just show you that with the piece out of the jaws and I only do undo two jaws to take it out but you can see the jaws are set around this way for the short length and then around the other way for the longer length. So put that one up and I've roughly centered it up, it doesn't need to be dead on centre, lock that one up and it's ready for machining. So the first thing I'm going to machine on this piece of acetal is a land here. I'm not going to face it right the way across because I don't think I've got enough length on the travel of the cross slide of the Chinese mini lathe. So I'm just going to machine enough land to clear for the doughty seal and then I'm going to drill and tap for a quarter inch BSP. So I'm using my HSS 45 degree tool here to plunge straight in and come across to give enough land. Next, the centre drill. And now an 11.4 millimetre drill, which is the core diameter for the quarter inch BSP thread or for the tap and I can drill right the way through with that one And that's that job done. And now the quarter inch BSP tap. And I just turn the spindle by hand for that one. I could let it go in by power. I normally do all my tapping by hand like this. And I can finish that on the vise if I need to. So now I take the component out of the jaws. And because I'm going to be holding it round this way now, I need to put the other jaws in the same way as these ones here.
and you'll find that the four drawer independent chuck is the most useful or the most versatile chuck to actually use on the lathe. If you only ever needed one chuck, the four drawer independent would do all jobs, or most of the jobs. That's near enough. And always spin the chuck first by hand to see that the jaws are not sticking out too far and that they won't clobber the ways. Just tighten that up. So I've blacked this end up so you can see exactly what I'm doing and also to help the camera stay in focus. I'm using the same 45 degree HSS tool again just to plunge straight in and then come across to give enough land for that doughty seal. Center drill again. And then the eleven point four millimeter core diameter drill. And if you're new to engineering, get one of these books here called a Zeus Precision Book. It's a data charts book and reference tables for drawing office, tool room and workshop, metric re um, revision. And it gives you all the core diameters for all the different uh, threads. You've got BSF threads there, British Standard Pipe Thread, which I'm using on this one here. So I'm using the quarter inch. BSP, the overall diameter of the thread is 518.518, the core diameter is 451. So you look up 451, go back to the metric conversion chart here, look up 451 on the chart, 451. I've got 448.8 and that's 11.4. The drill will cut and slightly oversize anyway. So the 11.4 is the right diameter drill for the quarter inch BSP. And on this one I just drill down to meet the existing hole through hole through the side there. I'm not going right the way through. And then the quarter inch BSP tap again.
So now I can take the component out and to finish the other sides I put the three jaw chuck back up. So I've got my three jaw chuck back up and I've finished tap the holes with um, using a vise and now I'm going to use this mandrel here that I've made up. All it is is a bar turned and um, done for a quarter BSP and one eighth BSP the other end. So it's a mandrel which I can use for two different size um, machining operations. And then just screw a union into the bar with a doughty seal. So the doughty seal goes on that one and put that in the jaws now. And now I can screw the component onto that one right up to the stop. And then I know when I machine the other end using the same tools that I machined these ends with, I know that this hole here will be exactly square with the hole at the back. So I call those um, quarter inch BSP unions, but um, other people call them um, pipe fittings. Um, it's because I used to work in pneumatics and we always used to call them unions, so it's just a habit I've um, picked up. Now I can machine this end here. This one's the one that I drilled right the way through, so I only have to do the um, land for the doughty seal. And then the quarter inch BSP tap again. I'll just deburr that one a bit. And this is why I have the habit of doing this um, on the lathe like this without using the spindle power because when you come to reverse or whatever using an ordinary chuck there it spins the tap and I have to tighten it so it stays in there but also if I was using the power it might unscrew this one from the union so that's why I do it by hand and then I can finish that one off in the vise. And then it's the same with the other side or the long end again. And this is the easiest way to actually make a manifold up like this, getting everything dead square if you haven't got a milling machine. Remember I didn't drill right the way through on this end here or from the other end so I have to centre drill and drill and then tap that one.
and then just finish those um, tap holes in the vise again. And that's the job finished. And I've got an excellent manifold.